Welcome back everybody. This is Tim from G.I. Joe Immortal and again we are going to have a G.I. Joe treasure hunt. There's some of the uh, exciting figures I've found out of this bin I am going through and we're going to spend the next half hour looking through and seeing what else we can find. A um, little bit about myself. I'm a avid G.I. Joe collector as you know. But I also collect Hot Wheels, I collect baseball cards, Magic the Gathering cards, movie posters, and I'm also a considered a, well, I would call myself at least a novice model builder, um, but I have won some competitions in the model building class and building military vehicles. I also uh, like flying drones, and I am a professional guitarist. And I have another channel called Guitar Dude Guy. Uh, I play for a several other bands. I have toured with several bands, but I'm not going to toot my own horn. If you want to go uh, learn some guitar and check out some guitars, check out Guitar Dude Guy 313. And let's get into taking a look at the GI, the vintage GI Joes that I found so far yesterday. Uh, I found this adder, which I have another adder, but it's not in this good of shape. Like I said, I bought this collection from a friend who was just wanted to get rid of all of his G.I. Joe stuff. He said he had no room or time for it anymore. 1987 adder in perfect shape. No decals. But uh, that one I found. And uh, the slugger with thunder. And he's in excellent shape. I did find out that is his real helmet. But uh, the slugger. And I also found a BTR armadillo. Which is an awesome looking vehicle right here. The BTR armadillo. And I put it together correctly this time. Um, and it opens up to have another flying vehicle inside and uh, I just thought that was a really uh, unique vehicle for G.I. Joe by BTR um, and let's get rolling we are looking for vintage G.I. Joe stuff I'm sure we're gonna find some new stuff I did I had these two giant tubs actually four all together one was filled with Hot Wheels <laughs> and the first one you've seen, we found quite a few uh, G.I. Joe figures like these. I did find a lot of vintage uh, G.I. Joe figures. But uh, we're looking for more. And let's get into it. Like I said, I'm only going to spend a half hour a day going through these until we get through. I've got another bin just like this one. Okay, well, let's get through this one. This is my vehicle that I put in here. It's a new one that I bought. This was called the Night Attack, I believe. But let's just get it out of the way. It is complete with flint. This is another version of the Vamp in the subdued black colors. Really cool. Uh, love the Vamp, original Vamp. I do manage to have the hoses hooked up and working. But uh, there's the Vamp and there's the two gas cans that go on the back number one and two that was mine from before like I said I put before I moved I just put as much as I could into the bin and most of my stuff is in the plastic bags but there's flint so let's get that one out of the way that's nothing new to me the ones that are new are usually in the Myers bags we wrapped them up and put them in there. I paid over, well, I paid $400 for the whole collection. And still haven't seen it all yet. So let's see what's next here. Uh, this looks like something new here that I haven't seen. We are bound to find some really cool vintage G.I. Joe stuff. Aha, this is the original, this is the original vamp, I think, 
I hope. Sure is. Oh, get up there. Where are you going? There's one way to tell. Hasbro Industries 1982 Original Vamp Mark 1. And it's missing the missing the uh, steering wheel. But other than that, it looks to be excellent shape. My gosh, that's beautiful shape. Stickers are put on there pretty cool. Pretty pretty accurate. Nice. Missing the no gas tanks, but we may find those later. He said he's got some figures in here mixed in. And we may run into those but really nice looking vamps. So there, there's something classic for sure. Dig that. Keep rolling. I have to watch the time. I don't want to go over a half hour. I don't want to take up too much of your time. Even though this is a lot of fun and I've been itching to get into these. What do we got here? Looks like another. It's like a newer vehicle. It doesn't look like something classic, but let me get this open. Bags. I hate it when we tie these in knots. There we go. All right. What do we got here? Anything else in the bag? No. It's another Ostriker. I believe this is a newer one. Oh, it's got timber in there, too. Huh. That's got the tow missile on the top. It actually works. And Snake Eyes in the driver's seat. Check that out. There's a cool Ostriker vehicle. I'm going to have a whole fleet of these by the time we're done. I've got two over there already. Maybe we'll find the original one in here. It would be cool. But there's Snake Eyes in the night strike vehicle i think it's called and we got timber to ride along with them all right let's keep moving i'm gonna go through these as quick as i can so we can get on to the other bin i'm looking for 12 inch figures i know there's more i just haven't found them yet what is this Okay. Just bear with me on these getting these knots out. I'm trying to go as fast as I can. What is this? Oh, sweet. Oh, okay. This looks like a moccasin, but a newer version also. But wow, is that in perfect shape? Like brand new. Fins, everything. That is a Cobra Moccasin with the driver in there. That is really cool in the blue colors. Wow, that's sweet. Gotta like that. We got a lot of reviews to do once I get all this unboxed. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of room to do this in right now, so we're kind of doing this now until I can get all my shelving and everything set up. Alright, what else do we have here? This was packed really good, so nothing would break. What do we got here? It looks like another vehicle. We are, this is just a lot of vehicles cool that the figures are in with the vehicles. We took really good care of this stuff. Oh, it's a Hummer. This is a World Peacekeepers Hummer, but wow, is that in perfect shape. And it's got the driver in there too. That is pretty sweet. That's a Hummer truck. Really nice detail on that. I do like reviewing the uh, World Peacekeeper stuff too because they did make some pretty cool stuff. 
this is pretty accurate here I like that and I imagine this cover comes off the door is open no, the trunk doesn't open but check that out that's really cool I think he's got a sticker on the front there that was added that's cool those were probably about 15 or 20 bucks when they came out and oh we got a, a barrel and some tools I don't want to lose anything barrel and a couple of tools let's put those in the back so we don't lose those Got a little barrel that goes with it oil barrel uh, what do we have next oh another vehicle this maybe I know my desert fox is in here it's stuck in here and that's what this is yeah this is mine I did a full review on this already I knew this was in here and this is absolutely perfect shape the desert fox this one was mine this is not a new find here there's skid mark we did a nice review on this vehicle here the desert fox let's put that over here that's nothing new to me let's keep rolling what do we got now oh. oh cool this is not gi joe but i don't know Oh, that's pretty cool armored personnel carrier with two figures in it I'm not sure who made this let's see on the bottom it's got some parts rolling around it. it's blue box toys that's the same guys who made uh, some dragon figures there for a while or were affiliated with them so that's pretty cool it's got some nice detail um, personnel carrier with two figures pretty nice keep that Let's see if there's any other parts in here I don't want to lose anything no nope. everything's in there all right next I gotta watch the time what, what time do we have now oh we're not even halfway yet got plenty of time go through some more vehicles what do we got here Again, I don't think this is not G.I. Joe either. But, oh, it's a little, little six-wheel vehicle. Pretty cool. I don't know where that came from. Probably one of those things that you get from, uh, uh, what's that sporting goods store there? It says Bass Pro Shops on it, but more than likely it's from Cabello's. I'm not going to spend too much time with that. Not what I'm looking for. Oh, uh, what's this? It's like ah, uh, another one, another one of those blue box personnel carrier toys with tow hooks on the back, but sand and a looks like a sniper in there. But that's that's pretty sweet. Goes with the other one. Still not what we're looking for. I'm looking for the Joe stuff. All this other stuff. Was... I have a whole nother bin, the same size as this one, that has this full of all GI Joe stuff too. So, uh, this one, this I bought at a garage sale a while back, and I did a review on this. I found this at a, a flea market. The demon, which I'm almost done with it. I remember sticking this in here. This was a nice find. I think I paid eight dollars for it at a flea market, and uh, I had to buy a few parts for it, a few missiles and things like that. But this is the demon, Destro's demon. I still need the glass for it and everything. Of course, you can see that. Uh, you can see that in a review that I had earlier on this. This is such a neat vehicle. But I still need some more parts for this to finish it off. Still not what we're looking for yet. I think most of the 
stuff that I bought from him is in the other, must be in the other bin. And I'm finding a few things. Here's something heavy. Yeah, this is my Jeep. I did a, I did a, a review on this Jeep also. This is my Jeep that I've had already. My Adventure Team Custom that I made with the sticker and everything. That's a really sweet Jeep. All die-cast metal, rubber wheels, one of the better Jeeps you can find. Uh, it is old, kind of a vintage from the, I think it's from the late 90s. Nothing else in there. We're running into a lot of my own, my own stuff. Hopefully I can find something of his in here that's not. Oh yeah, this is something that I picked up. This is cool too. This is an old Tonka six-wheeler that is G.I. Joe size. And uh, he threw that in for me too. That is pretty sweet. Little ATV Tonka from the 60s. I can remember playing with these when I was a kid. Little amphibious thing. Fits a G.I. Joe guy in there. Or two. But that's pretty cool. That was part of the deal. Probably about a $20 or $30 vehicle there. Okay, what else? Let's keep on rolling. Maybe we can get through this one. I really want to get to that other one. Ooh, this one was... It's wrapped in care. Must be something good. Oh, it is. It's the... Yeah, that's mine. <laughs> this I had to. This is the Jeep that uh, I already did a review on this one, too. That one was mine. Come on, I want to find some new stuff. I don't know what I put in here. What's this? trailer. Oh, this goes to the mutt. Yeah, this is a, this goes to the mutt. The, and again, that's one of my things that I had already. The mutt, and there's a Jeep that goes with it. I did a review on that too. And I think this may be it here. And it is. It's another Jeep. It's still in good shape. I'm surprised after the move and everything. This is the trailer that goes with it. Right here. It's a pretty sweet vehicle, man. Still not what we're looking for. I think most of the other the stuff I bought is in the other. It's got to be in the other. Alright, let's pull this big boy up. This has got to be my tank, the Abrams, it is, I know it is, I'm not even going to pull that out, I did a review on that one also, okay, what's this, ah, here's something new, there we go, yeah, this is the ASP that I need to do some work on missing the wheels to it i need some parts for it but that was part of the deal it's a cobra asp and uh yeah we'll get that fixed up soon i just need the wheels for it and uh yeah, that'll be complete this is from 1984 the cobra asp so there's a a vintage piece that was included in the deal let's keep rolling maybe i'll find some more not a whole lot left i know most of the stuff is in the other it's got to be in the other bin all right we got one two Five. 
driver. And six more things to go through in this one, and this bin is done. Here's a ramp of some sort. I don't know what that goes to. That's it. Let's run through these quick. See what we can find. Oh, cool. Yeah, I know I got several of these. Or two or three of these already. This is the Doom Cycle with the Doom Rider. I have another one that's in better shape than this one. But that's the Doom Cycle. One of the Dreadnoughts. It's a newer figure. It's not vintage, so... Keep moving. Want some new stuff? Come on now. Ah, uh, this goes to the other other part of the demon. With the net. This goes here. That's Destro's uh, flying little flying unit there with a net. Oh, cool. Look at this. It's a mech. Looks to be totally complete with the figure inside. This is the Cobra mech unit. This is what part of the deal. I know this was his. I don't didn't have that. And I know there's another one too. That is really sweet. Check that out. That's pretty cool. That's an, uh, the Cobra Mech. Uh, I'm not sure what you call it, but that's a newer item. It's still not vintage. Not what we're looking for yet, but still pretty cool. Good to have. What's this? It's like an oddball bag. Yep, that's the other one. I knew there was another one. I remember you had both of them. Yeah, here's the G.I. Uh, Joe one. And that's pretty cool, too. Here's the G.I. Joe mech. With... Let me see if I can get this open. Yep, I think most of the 12-inch uh, and other vintage stuff is in the other... It's in the other bin so we'll get through this bin and tomorrow we'll start on the other one um, see this was mixed with a lot of my own stuff and a few items that I got from the other collection but there's two of them that two of the mechs that I knew were in were somewhere but that's cool we got both of those I feel good about that that's gonna be a review for sure we can review these mechs. And let's see what else we got here. Yeah, another newer kind of vehicle. Some kind of ice breaker. Or... Yeah, that looks to be complete too with the figure. Still not the vintage stuff I'm looking for. That must all be in the next bin. So we've got a few minutes left. Oh, don't you be falling anyway. Oh, it's another one of the same thing. Army Builder. Okay, and there's two of these. They can both have the figures in there. That'd be a cool thing to put with the uh, ice saber over there. Or ice cutter, whatever. This is the ice cutter. That's what it's called. The Cobra Ice Cutter. Okay. Well, that's all for this bin. And, uh... We found a few things. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll take a look at all the vintage things that we found that was part of the collection. One thing I found was pretty cool was the this adder here, the slugger, the BTR unit there, uh, the vamp right there, 
Um, what else? Oh, the Asp down there. Both of the mechs are cool. And this tower and those Ostrikers over there. Ice uh, Saber. That vamp there, I think that's vamp mark three or four. Those Cobra figures there. This this was an amazing, still an amazing, amazing find. Um, and a lot of thanks to my friend for uh, letting me have this stuff. He, he knew I would take care of it, so it went to a good home for sure. But we got a lot of reviews to do on some of these for sure. And while we're at it, I'm going to show you a couple of my models that I build. There's one of my tanks right there. As you can see, I go all out when I build my tanks. I have a, a German tank over here that won me a first prize. But there's my Sherman and some of my figures with the stands. There's another Sherman back over there. And there's, uh, there's my first prize winner right there is that Panzer. That won me first prize. And there's a half track with some of my German soldiers there. And I did buy the other blue Jeep, although it was made by somebody different, but they're exactly the same. Um, and there's just some of my models that I build. And I built some planes up here too, if I can reach up there. Yeah, there I built a few planes too, the Stuka, just a hobby. Something I was doing during the pandemic wasn't, was staying home. There's my villains. I put them around the table and a secret agent is there planning some kind of double cross for sure. But, uh, and there's a few of my models that I have built. Well, a couple of them are just uh, die cast, but I built those two there, that Mustang and that NASCAR. But I'm proud of that German tank there. It's pretty awesome. But uh, thanks for being with me, and uh, we will start on bin number four, the final one, tomorrow after I get this cleaned up. And I'm going to pull out a few things that to do some extensive reviews on. But uh, this is Tim from G.I. Joe Immortal. And thanks for being with me on this treasure hunt. We found a few good things, a couple vintage things. Um, I did put a few of my figures up over here. Some that I found. Um, but uh, it was a really great collection to, uh, to purchase to add to uh, my collection. Of course, when I got it, I was in the middle of moving, so I just kind of threw everything together. I didn't really have time to get anything out and display it and look at it and see what I even had. So this is kind of Christmas for me. I'm finding my own stuff as well as a lot of stuff that I had just purchased. I didn't keep it all together like I should have, but still it's a lot of fun. The hunt continues. We'll see you again next time. This is Tim from G.I. Joe Immortal. Have a good night, everybody.